both juniors at Wheeler. We went to Gordon starting from <coughs> pre-K and started on the first day of school together and have been friends ever since. <laughs> Even though we got off the plane and it ended, it never really left us. Yeah, as soon as the workshops could have been literally about anything, like we were not given any limits. And as soon as they told us, like, get with your partner, or pick who you want to be with, Maddie and I, like, looked at each other, like, we, we already knew what we were going to do. them um, split into groups and then we gave each group a topic and in the 50 minutes they did like a little research project on their specific topic so one of them was the school to prison pipeline one of them was mental health in prisons one of them was how race plays a role in the likelihood of you being arrested and how you're treated once you get into prison even in high school we um, noticed that people had a lot of trouble kind of, kind of warming up to the idea of having conversations about something like race about mental health that kind of thing and I feel like um, the fact that Gordon students are the ones, and Gordon alums that are, are the ones that are bringing those kinds of conversations into like everywhere they go, they're going to be the ones that are challenging their classmates' opinions, the ones that are, you know, like broadening their point of view. Um, and the fact that like we could do that for some people, and we had so many people coming up after being like, I could tell teachers saying like, I could tell you were really passionate about that. Like, I want to learn more. And yeah, and we had a couple Gordon kids in our mm -hmm. high school workshop, and they they were like yeah. so excited about it. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, our year was like, oh my gosh, like that was great. It, yeah, he was saying it brought yeah. back so many memories, yeah. and we put some throwback um, photos. Yeah, we put some pictures. <laughs> <of them. laughs> yeah, but we just want to end by talking like a little bit about just overall what we took from um, Gordon experience, the trip, that kind of thing. Um, so I, I, we were just kind of reflecting on it today, and we talk about this a lot in our everyday conversations with other Gordon kids at Wheeler, about how you just don't find 12, 13, 14-year-old young kids having these kinds of conversations anywhere else, um, being so involved in it in the classroom and outside, and just the fact that I can now, in our AP US History class, we're going to be studying the Civil Rights Movement, and I can say, I've been to this monument, I've met this woman, I have... I, I, I stood here, like I was walking across that bridge, is like extremely powerful and we're just like very thankful for that I guess. And I just think that Gordon was the place that I learned how to public speak. I learned how to um, ask and answer difficult questions, how to talk about difficult topics, um, how to question myself and what I was learning. Um, and like I said before, just in high school and beyond, the Gordon students are going to be the ones that are um, challenging each other, challenging their classmates or colleagues' point of view, are bringing up new things to the table, and it's just like, I don't know, we just loved it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, personally, I, when I talk to my other friends that didn't go to Gordon um, about their middle school experience, I've never heard anyone else say, like, I loved middle school. It was the <laughs> best time of my life. The best I've got it is people being like, it was okay, like, it was fine. But Maddie and I, like, talk about Gordon every single day. There's literally not a day when we don't bring up the word Gordon. And, and middle yeah, but um, I just think that speaks so much to the kind of place that this is. Like, I don't think there was ever a day where I really didn't like being here. Like, maybe I was a little annoyed or I wasn't in a good mood, but there was never a day when I didn't want to come here and everything and also like Maddie said like having those difficult conversations and training middle schoolers to be able to talk about difficult things like race and stuff like that is so important because even in situations where like we're not talking about race at all but just another awkward conversation it's the Gordon kids who are the ones raising their hands like being comfortable speaking and all the other kids in the class are like looking around like confused really mm -hmm. uncomfortable and it's just definitely not a coincidence and then the last thing I wanted to say was now that Maddie and I are juniors, we're starting the college process and we're like visiting schools. And I've started to realize that things that I'm like actively searching for in a college are things that I first experienced here. Like yeah. I'm looking for a school that has a strong emphasis on social justice, where there's like a sense of community, a sense of like it's okay to say whatever you want to say. Things like that are things that I first learned at this school. So 